Hi, this is a demonstration video for a Sony cassette quarter CF210Y. This unit has a cassette deck built in along with a radio and it covers typical broadcast bands for AM across the top here 530 to 1600 it also covers some shortwave bands and the shortwave one it goes from 1.6 to 4.5 megahertz shortwave two 4.5 megahertz to 12 megahertz Shortwave 3 from 12 megahertz to 26 megahertz. So we've got the dial there. And then there is a meter here for record level battery and tuning. Honestly, I don't know that that's working anymore. It doesn't really seem to move during any testing I've done. Tape player does work plays and records so that is functioning fine um, on the top here we've got the control panel for tape deck you've got your eject it's definitely not a soft open but it does work um, stop and your playback rewind and fast forward and record button here and you've got your on off switch and then your band select here the the mw is your medium wave for your your broadcast band that the top top row of frequencies here for your am broadcast and then it's just got a simple tone slider and a volume slider here and they, uh, they both work fine got an external antenna and this is in great shape it's still straight as an arrow and and on the side there's just the tuning knob and then the port for the power cable And then on this side, got some connections for a microphone, a remote control, line in, and a monitor jack. I did try to record from the line in to the cassette, and it does work, but it's really noisy for some reason. Uh, but when you record onto the cassette from the microphone, it works fine. So, not quite sure what to think about that. But, um, but the microphone works good. And then it's got a nice sturdy handle. And on the back, There's the frequency specs and the model number. This one's made in Japan. And then for alternate power, you can use four D size batteries. They fit in this compartment here. Uh, this compartment, let's set this down gently here. This compartment, um, it's fairly clean, um, but I have a feeling that at some point there might have been some some leak. There's a little bit of corrosion here, but nothing too severe. I'm sure it could be cleaned up. A little bit of work, and then inside, got the springs, and those look like they're in pretty good shape. So. And then you can set this to work for 
110 or 220. Gonna switch there. So and uh, this one's cosmetically in really good condition. See if we get anything. And Monday morning at nine with Kevin Rush on Leo 1360. So yeah, radio works good. The and then you got the tone control. Let's get to some of the voice. Folks that are in attendance today, I, Mike, am I being generous of say if I'm saying that it's 45 to 50 percent full today? So yeah, it, right. tone's working real like, smooth. Volume control works real smooth. I don't hear any static on it. Um, and then the cassette player. I'm gonna hit play here. Actually, I need to turn the radio part off to hear the cassette play. Can't play too much of that. I'll probably get a copyright strike, but um, but yeah, the the play and all this, all the rewind and forward and all that works fine. Okay, we're spinning just fine. Now hit stop. Go the other way. That all works good. One thing I noticed that the, when you hit the end, if you're rewinding or fast forwarding, um, it doesn't automatically stop. But if you're playing the tape and the tape gets to the end, it will automatically stop, you know, pop up the, the play button automatically. So that part does work fine. And the speaker does work fine. Like I said, this this meter doesn't seem to be moving at all, no matter what I do. So that might need some service, but, but yeah, it's kind of a cool looking unit. It feels like it's well made and it's very solid. And, um, so, and, and one thing I noticed there isn't really a, an external antenna on it or external connection for an antenna rather. Um, so, um, this antenna definitely helps when you have it up. But it would be nice if there was an external option, but they, they didn't have it on this one. So you'd have to rig up something to uh, probably improve reception if you wanted to. But another thing about this is this particular model, this this Y version, I noticed is it, it's it's must have not been sold in the US because I can't find anything on it from Google um, or any other source so I, there's other versions though with different letters on the end but this Y version is is unique and I don't know possibly if it was sold in a different country and then um, the person who originally owned this may have brought it over with them from some other country I don't know where he got it from but uh, but it's a, it's a nice unit it's well made and it still functions I'm sure it could use a little bit of servicing uh, but the basic functions are, are are good on this and that's really all I had so thanks for viewing